For the last video in Unit 8, Learning Set 2, we're going to look at computing federal income tax on benefits paid under Social Security and uh, Medicare. So in this example, Rob is 64 years old and collected $19,612 in Social Security loss benefits. So using the Social Security benefits worksheet, that is going to be entered into line one. He is married filing a joint return on his 1040. The total of lines 7A, 7A, 9A, and 10 through 14, 15, 17, 19 is 80,433. So on number two of your benefits, you're going to enter one half of line one. Line three is going to be that 80,000 that we just identified in the amount, if any, from form 1040 line 8B. So line 8B on his form 1040 shows $519. And then, so we put that in here, $519. Add lines 2, 3, and 4, so that would give us a total here. So what we did was we added these lines. Enter the total amounts from form 1040 lines 23 through 32. So let's go back up here and lines 23 through 32 on his form had a total of 1,239. The next step says, is the amount on line 6 less than the amount on line on line 5? The answer is no. Um, sorry, yes. So if the answer is yes, subtract lines 6 from 5. So that would be subtract 6 from 5. If you're married filing jointly, so looking back up there, he's married filing jointly. Enter 32,000 in line eight, so they entered that amount there. Is line eight less than the amount on line seven? Yes, so once again, you're going to do another subtraction. Subtract line eight from seven. Enter 12,000 if married filing jointly, which is what he is, so that would be entered over here in line 10. Subtract line 10 from 9, so 10 from 9 gives you 445,519. Enter the smaller amount, so the rest of it is just simply following the directions that they give you. So at the end, what they have computed is that his taxable Social Security benefits is $16,670.20. So he's not paying tax on the full $19,600. He's only paying tax on $16,670.20. So basically, they have the worksheet just like we did in our income tax unit. Follow everything step by step by step. Don't let the whole form overwhelm you. Just look at it one piece at a time. Okay, so Ryan is retired and is qualified to receive Medicare. In 2008, he paid the monthly standard premium. How much did he pay for the year? So one thing to know is the standard premium in 2008 was $96.40. So for the year, he paid that each month, which means... $96.46 times 12 is $1,156.80, and that would be the amount that he paid for the entire year of 2008.